Mike Wielenbach here covering a controversial topic, genetics. People always say, this guy's got great genetics, this guy does not, blah, 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 okay? What does that actually mean? So here's my take on it. I think the topic of genetics is vastly overrated. Like for one, you cannot change it. And for two, nobody has great genetics all around. So in my very sad example, right? Look at my biceps. See the gap here? So the insertion is high. Same on the triceps, okay? So I'm not predestined, so to speak, by providence to have great arms, okay? Because there's not enough real estate. I cannot build any muscle where there's no muscle. That is just not possible. By the same token, my calves insert really low. So if I was gonna compete in like biggest calf on earth, I might actually win. Okay? But the issue is it's called bodybuilding, not muscle building. So all too often I see people just becoming some sort of cartoonish character where they overwork a certain muscle because they're good at it or it grows quickly and then it looks like Mr. Potato Head, just like, you know, two arms stuck together and two legs and so on and so forth. And one thing Arnold had, right, amongst many other things, was that once he got over this big arms are enough and he started training his legs, he created a physique that for his build-up was flowing because he didn't have a great structure. He had broad hips, he had relatively narrow shoulders, but when you see him posing, for instance, he always has a slight tilt, so his hips appear more narrow, and so on and so forth. So in my case, I can, I can gripe and, and bought my arms and this, that, the other, or I can just say, look, I have good shoulders and I have a narrow waist, so I can build out the V taper and as for the arms, I do the best I can, you know? And believe it or not, I had to reduce my leg training because my legs are short, and if I do too much of it, I look like an Oompa Loompa, and then they're out of proportion, okay? So I think people get too hung up on, like I said, working a certain muscle or griping about the genetics, and they don't comprehend or don't wanna look into the, 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 the bigger picture, which is, you must create a physique that is more flowing. Now, I know bodybuilding has rewarded size over everything, but if you're doing this for yourself, don't you want to look good in like a classic aesthetic way? So that's what you have to look at. So if you are born with broad hips, well, there's nothing you can do, but then that just means you have to train a lot more shoulders to make up for that, to create the V taper, you know? If your lats insert high, yeah, okay, you're not gonna be Franco Colombo, but you can create great detail and make them look as low as can be. So genetics, just like somatype and muscle fiber type, like I talked about in the other, in the other video, are just another thing that people drive themselves nuts with, even though they cannot change it. So what I would recommend is, you look at your strengths and weaknesses, and I'm gonna say something radical, do not overdevelop your strengths. Because, yeah, people look at Lee Priest and his freakish arms, and that is fun, but to me it's not a physique that I want, you know? If you are evenly developed, personally, I think that looks much better, even though that means that you might have to cut back from training a muscle that you like. Like, I love training legs, but I cannot wear shorts all year round because I don't fit, I don't fit into jeans anymore. That just doesn't make any sense, you know? So once again, it's called bodybuilding, not single muscle building, okay? Just something to think about, my God.